today we will discuss about natural resources. As its name suggests resources obtained from nature or substances obtained from nature are natural resources. Man get many substances to meet his basic need. These substances are called natural resources. Here we can understand word resource that is source of supplying a material generally held in reserve. Natural resources may be in the form of living substance or non-living as well. Some of these resources are found in large quantity that is in abundance while others are found in limited quantity and that too in some restricted parts of the land. For this reason natural resources should be used wisely properly but it's not happening it's use is done indiscriminately these should be used wisely now if we classify natural resources these can be of following two types it would depend on abundance and availability the first type is inexhaustible natural resource The other type would be exhaustible natural resource. Inexhaustible natural resource, as its name suggests, these are not going to be exhausted. That is, these are present in unlimited quantity. Now, these are present in unlimited quantity. So these are not going to be exhausted by any human activity. Some of the examples are air, water, solar radiation, We can understand air, water, solar radiation are present in excess unlimited quantity. So these cannot be exhausted. The other type of natural resources is exhaustible resources. These are present in limited quantity. As these are present in limited quantity, so these can be finished, exhausted by human activity. The examples are we have discussed classification of natural resources that is inexhaustible and exhaustible natural resources. Now exhaustible natural resources can be further divided as follows. It can be divided into renewable natural resource and non-renewable natural resource. Renewable natural resource. It's clear from its name that is these can be obtained once again. So renewable natural resource can be replenished themselves by quick recycling and replacement within a reasonable time. Now as these can be recycled in a reasonable time, so these are not going to be exhausted because these can be obtained in a quick time again. The examples are soil forest, wildlife, non-renewable natural resources, the resources which cannot be replenished themselves by recycling and replacement. As they cannot be recycled by themselves, these may be exhausted. The examples of non-renewable natural resources are minerals which are present in earth's crust, fossil fuels, 
etc. Now we'll study about non-renewable natural resource mainly about fossil fuels. Fossil fuels means uh, exhaustible natural resources like coal and petroleum or natural gas they were formed from dead remains of living organisms. So these are called fossil fuels. First we need to understand what are fossils. Dead remains of living organism. The fuels obtained from these dead remains are called fossil fuels. The two important examples of fossil fuels are coal and petroleum. Coal and petroleum are very important natural resources and they play very important role in modern society. They are obviously found in earth's crust. Their easy availability and uh, specific characteristics make them very important in the growth of industry. At present, they are the chief source of energy worldwide. We'll discuss the first fossil fuel that is coal. Coal is a mineral of dark brown or black color obtained from remains of plant buried in earth's crust millions of years ago. Its composition Coal is impure form of carbon. It mainly consists of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and some amount of sulfur. Coal deposits the Distribution of coal deposit is not uniform in the earth's crust. Asia, our continent, contributes one third and North and South America contributes more than a half. In India, coal deposits are found in states Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh and West Bengal. Now the next thing that we think is how coal was formed. Formation of coal. It is believed that millions of years ago the ground below the forest was split open by natural forces such as earthquakes and volcanoes. The forests were buried in the chasm under the earth. The plants had no contact with oxygen. Successive layers, many layers of sediments sealed the buried plants under the earth. Over millions of years these deposits were subjected to tremendous lot of pressure and temperature which finally transformed them into coal. Now the chemical process which is involved in the formation of plant matter into coal that is called carbonization. It is actually slow chemical conversion of plant matter into coal. Now coal occurs in following four varieties. The first variety is peat, the second is lignite, third is bituminous and the fourth is anthracite. Peat is most inferior quality of coal that is it contains least percentage of carbon and anthracite is most superior quality of coal that is it contains maximum percentage of carbon now let us see what is the 
percentage of carbon in these different varieties peat contains 52 60% carbon lignite 62 70% carbon bituminous variety of coal it contains 75 to 80% of carbon and anthracite variety of coal it contains more than 90% carbon now on burning these different varieties of uh, coal will get different amount of heat energy and uh, that we know as calorific value the variety of coal which is having less amount of carbon would have less calorific value and the variety of coal anthracite which is having highest amount of carbon will have highest calorific value the calorific value of these varieties of coal are peat it is around 10.5 to 12.6 kilojoules per gram lignite it is 14.7 to 18.9 kilojoules per gram bituminous 28 to 31 kilojoules per gram and anthracite 31 to 33 kilojoules per gram.